With his mournful expression and delivery, Geoffrey Palmer was one of the best known actors of his generation. Born in London on June 4, 1927, Palmer attended Highgate School. After leaving school, Palmer spent 1946 to 1948 doing his national service in the Royal Marines. He became an instructor, taking the recruits through field training and the use of small arms. After leaving the Marines, he worked in an imports office and then as an accountant before his girlfriend persuaded him to join the local amateur dramatic society. Eventually, he became assistant manager at Croydon's Grand Theatre and spent several years touring with Rep. In 1958, he moved into television with roles in comedy series such as those of Harry Worth and Arthur Askey, and also in the ITV series The Army Game, a sitcom based on the lives of National Service soldiers that launched the careers of a number of famous actors and led to the first Carry On film. In 1970, he played Masters in the series Doctor Who and the Silurians. It was the first of three appearances he would make in the franchise, returning in 1972 in The Mutants and in 2007 in The Damned. He is one of 33 performers who have acted in both the 20th century and 21st century Doctor Who TV series. Among his many famous TV roles, he played Jimmy Anderson in The Fall and Rise of Reginald Perrin with Leonard Roster from 1976 until 1979. Ben Parkinson in Butterflies, opposite Wendy Craig, from 1978 to 1983, and Lionel Hardcastle in As Times Go By, with Judy Dench, from 1992 until 2005. Good God! You know what those are? Rifles? <laughs> <laughs> Who on earth are these for, Jimmy? Army, equipped to fight for Britain when the balloon goes up. What army? What balloon? A what? Fight against whom? <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Who, who, who are you going to fight against when this balloon of yours goes up? Forces of anarchy. Wreckers of law and order. Ah, I see. Communists, Maoists, Trotskyists, Neo-Trotskyists, Crypto-Trotskyists, Union leaders, Communist Union leaders. <laughs> I see. Atheists, agnostics, long-haired weirdos, short-haired weirdos, vandals, <laughs> hooligans... Football supporters, Namby Pamby probation officers, rapists, papists, papist rapists, <laughs> foreign surgeons, head shrinkers who ought to be locked up, Wedgwood Ben, keg bitter, punk rock, glue sniffers, <laughs> play for today, squatters, Clive Jenkins, Roy Jenkins, up Jenkins, up everybody's, Chinese restaurants. Why do you think Windsor Castle is ringed with Chinese restaurants? <laughs> is that all? His film appearances include A Fish Called Wander in 1988, The Madness of King George in 1994, Mrs Brown in 1997, and also in 97, Tomorrow Never Dies. Palmer's distinctive voice gave him a career in advertising in such commercials as the Slam in the Lamb ads for the Meat and Livestock Commission, television voiceovers such as the Audi commercials, in which he popularised the phrase Vorsprung durch Technik, and as the narrator for the BBC series Grumpy Old Men and Grumpy Old Holidays. He also narrated the audiobook version of Dickens' A Christmas Carol, released in 2005 as a podcast by Penguin Books. His world-weary demeanour made him instantly recognisable, although it did not reflect his real character. I'm not grumpy, he once said, I just look this way. Away from stage and screen, he was a keen fly fisherman, once appearing in the DVD series The Complete Angler in which he retraced Isaac Walton's classic 17th century book. In 2000, the British Film Institute polled industry professionals to compile a list of what they felt were the greatest British TV programmes ever screened. Harmer was the only actor to have appeared in all of the top three, which were Forty Towers, Cathy Come Home and Doctor Who. In 2011, he joined the campaign to try and halt plans for the HS2 railway line the proposed route of which ran close to his home in Buckinghamshire. Geoffrey Palmer had no formal training as an actor, but his innate skills kept him in almost continuous work for more than six decades. His policy was never to turn down a part. I love working, he once said, and if I'm not working, I'm not earning. Geoffrey Palmer, rest in peace. <laughs>